You ready for this? Out of New York uh, this morning we got a couple of stops along the way such as bagels, bagels. another pizzeria <laughs> um, and laundromat and a laundromat yeah. we had a lot of fun in New York this time around um, got to see a lot of stuff in a short amount of time too because we were only here for less than 48 hours right so we, we did not a lot in we did not stay in the van, but um, we could have. We could have. We very easily. We were worried about finding overnight parking, and in New York City, it's not a problem. Overnight parking is not a problem at all. It's where do you put the van during the day? Yeah. Um, there's these signs everywhere. You know. Uh, well, that says no standing. There's truck offloading. Yeah. So, I mean, well, I mean, like this, the signs are basically everywhere. So. You can uh, basically just pay attention to where the signs are. Um, in front of our hotel, there was actually signs where we could park from 6 p.m. to 8 a.m. every day. So something like that. But they'll tell you basically where you can and can't park. The, the noise level itself, I mean, even in the rooms, it's loud. So idea don't, that, you know, you're gonna have the soundest sleep ever. Then the destination is on your right. But um, at the end of the day, we had a lot of fun. We got to see a lot of stuff, and um, oh my God, it's so tiny. it is so tiny. Look at this. <laughs> yeah. Um, we even got to see somebody get hit by a car. So oh we didn't get it on on video. Thank God. But um, it was a lot of fun. Not watching someone get hit by a car. Mm. All right, your place is on the right, right here. Yeah. We're continuing north to Maine, but before we leave New York, we're gonna jump over to Long Island and go see our good friends at King Umberto, where we're gonna have some amazing pizza. After that, we've got a six hour drive to our camp spot for the night in Augusta, Maine. We're about two hours outside of Acadia National Park. I'm just kind of getting everything cleaned up this morning. Nicole's changing. So we got to the Gardner KOA. This seems to be the last KOA that's open before uh, you get into the northern part of Maine. Um, uh, they keep saying that they're out of season. I'm going to ask about it today, see if I can't get any clarification. Today is what? October... Today is October 30th. But it seems a little strange. People camp year-round, have rigs that can go year-round. Anyhow, we got in about 10.30 last night. Finished watching the Astros games. But what's in store for this morning, my love? Well, we're going to hopefully get out of this rain. And we're gonna drive up to Acadia and do a couple hikes, um, see what we can see because it is supposed to rain. There's some horrible weather coming up this way, so we're only gonna get today, unfortunately. Um, it's 100% rain tomorrow and it's coming in full force, so today is the only day that we have. Hopefully we'll hit a couple trails. Um, the park seems fairly small but it is on an island so I'm really not sure how to compare it to any other parks but uh, I have picked out a few trails for us although I don't think we're gonna be able to go all the way up one because uh, real narrow and it's got iron rungs so 
I don't know how you're gonna like that. <laughs> Plus we have daisies, so um, <clears throat> we'll hike what we can hike and see what we can see, and then we gotta beat this weather, so we're off. Let's hope we beat the weather. <clears throat> Take a photo right now? I guess we can come back, huh? Yeah, before we leave. This is Visitor Center. Is this it? Yeah, we need to go to this, this is a visit? Oh, you gotta go up there. That's fine. Whoa, we are going up the Beehive Trail. I thought you said we were not going to go up. Yeah, no, we're, I told you we're going to go up far, as far as we can. But at some point, we won't be able to go there. Wow. What kind of dog is that? It's Pitbull. a pit bull. Thank you. Thank you. Um, say that one more time. Why? Why would we have to turn around? Oh, because at some point there's because. yeah because there are iron rungs that you have to climb up. Uh, I'm, they look vertical, so I don't know if Daisy's gonna be able to. Did you bring her harness just in case we have to carry her? Yeah, but it's in the van. <laughs> Do you want to get it? Ah, uh, no. We're in here. It's all right. Is this it? Yeah. I mean, literally, we could just go get it. Funny. Do you want to? Ooh, all right. Can't believe I found you, baby. Come alive. Love you, you like. We're dancing in the moonlight. Wanna waste our time. Wanna waste our time in the moonlight. Let me up all night. Let me up all night.
We're here up in the Acadia National Park in Maine, and we just finished hiking the Bull Trail. It's just below the Beehive Trail, and once you climb up to the rock area, you get a wonderful view of the harbor area down there. And just behind us is the Bull. It's definitely worth the hike. Um, a little breezy today. A little bit breezy. It's like 49. <laughs> but it's you know, as, as long as you're not peaked over the edge and getting that full ocean breeze. thinking of this hike so far. Oh sorry. I had to take pictures of the leaves. It's absolutely stunning. The best part about this is that as we're coming down the sun is coming out. Couldn't ask for anything more. True. Sure. Maybe a million dollars. Okay, maybe a million dollars, but worth coming for before. Now it's worth that. Jetties. Jetties serving wicked good food from 11 to close every day due to the current high volume. 
So we'll just go back over there. We're trying to find the coal, a lobster roll. We're down here in Bahaba. 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 Trying to get a lobster roll. Yeah. I'm allergic, so I can't have it. But Nicole's desperate for it. And this. I need it. This is pretty nice out here. I must say. It all looks very nice. I bet it's cold as stuff out there, but. Alright, we've officially left Acadia, or as I've renamed it, Arcadia. Nicole got her sandwich. How's it look? Looks okay. There's corn in it. That's kind of weird. Um, not used to that, but... Well, what do you know? You've never been to Maine before. No, I haven't, but I've never seen photos of anybody's lobster sandwich with corn, so... It's a lobster roll... Come on, where are you from? Jeez. Definitely not from Boston. No, we're not in Boston. This thing better be wicked good. Wicked? Wicked good? Wicked. Get back on the road, yeah. If I don't get ran over. Oh my god. Good catch. Nicole almost lost her sandwich everywhere. <laughs> Daisy would have had a feast. <laughs> It's windy. Oh, you have your window open. That's why. It's cold. Was it windy or cold? It's cold. And windy? It's like wicked cold. Wicked cold? Wicked cold. Wicked. These little houses are so cute. Alright, so we're going back to the very same KOA we stayed at last night. Uh, it's about a two hour drive. For whatever reason, the, the KOAs that are north up here are all closed for the season and the one at Journey or Gardner or whatever the other little city was that it was nearby it's near Brunswick. Um, Brunswick that one's open and the, there's three low below it that we definitely could make it to um, that would put us closer to Boston um, are all closed for the season too so I don't know what it is about this one that they're staying open they want that money I suppose yeah, I mean, well, technically the end of the season is like mid-October. Um, the last day that Acadia National Park, the visitor center is physically open is tomorrow, which is October 31st. Ooh. Oh, which by the way, we really need to film some of those like little road signs. Yeah. It's been really fun driving by um, the signs here in Maine because it's very Halloween themed. It'll say something like, watch out for the oh. ghosts and goblins or something. Oh, the ghouls and goblins. And then, oh, it says, uh, leave the flying to the witches or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> just like silly little things that are really fun. Um, you can kind of tell that it's just like a fun, it's a fun state. It is a fun state. I've enjoyed it. So have I. Definitely need to come back when we have more time. I got the bed all wet. <laughs> I wet the bed. That is a problem. Yes. Chow da. Clammy. We are on our way already. We've made our coffee. We brushed our teeth. Washed our face. Wiped our butts. And, all that. and now we're on our way. We've got a small detour before we leave Maine. You've all heard of it, but I'll let Nicole tell you a little bit more. Hi guys, good morning. Yes, yeah, so you may have heard of this place. It 
it's also very reminiscent of our name, and it's called L.L. Bean. L.L. Bean was started in 1911 when Leon Leon Wood Bean, also known as L.L. Bean, invented the bean boot. Originally created as a hunting shoe, the bean boot was called the main hunting shoe. LL had returned from a hunting trip with cold, damp feet, so he made a pair of boots with leather uppers and rubber bottoms. His boots revolutionized the hunting industry after working with Donald McMillan in an Arctic expedition. We are here at the flagship LL Bean in Freeport, Maine, where it was originally set up as a 24-7 operational store for hunters and fishermen to gather gear before heading out in the early morning hours. Since its inception, L.L. Bean carries everything from men's to toddlers and pet gear for outdoor recreation. We highly recommend you stop by if you do come to Freeport, Maine. L.L. Bean has definitely changed the way that we look at the outdoors. So it looks like if your name is Bean, it doesn't give you any kind of discount. We still gotta pay regular people pricing. <laughs> Lame. Right. They said contact um, corporate about our royalties or something <laughs> like that, so I guess we'll get a hold of them. What did she get? What'd you get? I know you can't have lobster, but I got you something. More importantly, I really enjoy that everything is sustainable here. Great. Right now it came with all the shenanigans, but I got myself a junior lobster roll. Oh. And no, that's not for you. Oh, it's so cute. Look how yeah. tiny it is. <laughs> oh. Junior lobster roll for me. Served with pickle on the side, by the way. Um. Just on the side, but it is in its own little cup. And a pork sandwich for you. All right. But wait, there's more. I got this little whoopie pies. Uh, They're wee whoopie pies. Wee whoopie pies. <laughs> so these are Linda Bean's wee whoopie pies. Oh. She's a great aunt of ours. Yeah. Sync has Linda. connected your phone and is reminding you that 911 assist is set to off. Are you hungry? Hey guys, thanks for coming along on this adventure. We really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, this is a good opportunity to go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. Make sure you share with a friend. Don't forget, you can follow us on Instagram at beans underscore traveling if you want to see more short content. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you on the next one.